Now we know there are different kinds of piano, right? Now I don't know the kind of keyboard you are using, or even the kind of uh, software or DAW or libraries that you are using. So I'm coming to discuss these things into details for you to get a thorough understanding of the kind of tones you are advised to even use. Let me share my experience with you uh, concerning the tones that I use when I when I'm playing the keyboard. So this time we are coming to add one note to the ninth chord classes. To get our 11th chord. Now we already know that a ninth chord is made up of five notes, right? Which means that our right hand is already full with a ninth chord. And then, in order to construct an 11th chord, we have to add one extra note to the ninth chord. Um, so, which means that you can't play um, an 11th chord with just one hand. Surely, the other fingers from the left hand has to come and help. Let's first of all construct the chords. Then we will see how to position our fingers. Okay. I'm ready for my next level. Show me your power. Bless me more of you. What I need. Fire, will you help me sing? But I will have the freedom to do a lick that will still fit on the one. So a popular lick that I can do on the one is see. So let me show you this lick. It's based off on the two, three, five, six, seven. So this is a lick that you can play in any key as your one. So you play the one, whether it's in the key of F, you play your one, then do what? Right up, that is what two, three, five, six, seven. If it's in the key of A, okay. So this is a C minor seventh chord. So I have the five, two, flat seven, and then two, four, flat seven. So these are all passing chords that are leading us to a four. And we are playing so many times. Have you noticed? So. So another trick I want to show you right now is you can pick the same chord again and then steady the notes carefully. The notes that make up the chord. Pick some of these notes, form a chord with it on your left hand and then these same notes form a different chord with it on your right hand and then they will still be the same chord. Now what am I talking about? Let's, let's use um, a C minor 11th in this case as an example, okay? So... It's our C minor 11th chord, right? See, I can pick the E flat, the G, the B flat, the D, these four notes, and then play them on my left hand like this, okay? And then I can choose to play the G, B flat, D, F on my right hand. Now look at the sound of the chord. Do you remember we did five? Then to follow G is as one, right? So it's basically a one, five, one. Now the question you should ask yourself if you want to improvise, like what I did is um, one, five, one. Now 
if you want to take a look at passing quotes, then you can use a um, circle of faith as we have discussed. You can use semitones, okay, or you can use the, the, the major scale itself, right? So. As the you